example, the rain caused mostly street flooding, as you can see here in areas today, leaving some drivers stranded and in need of help. For others, the rain is just putting a damper on weekend plans. Maryland Bureau Chief Brad Bell continues our storm watch coverage tonight live from Largo. Brad. Yeah, it's been a gray, miserable day. A lot of bad traffic, a lot of rain, no violent weather. But you know, it's been so long since we had a couple days like this that it's news. And we saw today that a lot of people forgot how to handle it. With her car alarm still sounding and water still rising over her seats, the owner of this car could only stand by in her wet shoes and wait for a tow truck. She says she has no idea the water on the entrance ramp to the old Landover Mall could be so deep. I just turned a corner and um, I realized that the water start getting higher than the, the front of the car and the, the car stopped. Understandably, she declined to share her name. But perhaps she can take comfort in knowing she wasn't alone in her predicament. The owner of this car became stranded in deep water in Elkridge near the Baltimore Beltway. From this chopper view, you can see firefighters leading the driver to safety. Now, while those incidents are rare, across the region, it has been a nasty day on the roads. Ah, uh, wet, soggy. He drives a tow truck and has been busy tending to cars like this one, which slid off of Route 50 in a downpour. There's been a lot of accidents out there, a lot of cars, people not driving right. After a dry and sunny start to autumn, the rainfall is now adding up to a brown, swollen Patuxent River and a swamped baseball field in Laurel. In Annapolis, the usually festive U.S. sailboat show is off to a rough start. This is miserable. Cold, wet, my phone is soggy, my money's wet, my shoes are, my feet are cold, but this is how it goes. Faye Curry says it's not just miserable, it's hurting the bottom line for her charity because so few people are braving the elements to buy the crab soup. It's impacting us, but hopefully it won't be too detrimental. <laughs> Shouldn't be too detrimental. I can tell you from personal experience, her crab soup is perfect for a day like today. Now, as for that street flooding we showed you and that business down there at the old Landover Mall where there's just a Sears left, what we're seeing is that the rain will come in, there'll be a storm drain that gets clogged, the water will back up, and then as soon as they come along and clean that storm drain, the, the flooding goes away. What we haven't seen yet is any of the, the situations where there's a river that's so swollen that it's coming up and over the road. Be careful tonight, though. It is slippery. In Largo, Brad Bell, ABC7 News. And